today we're going to work on crochet stitch for this beautiful baby blanket and you can see it's very uh, unique stitch consists of well bridges connecting those um, wonderful textured panels and the stitch is pretty easy uh, for the yarn we're using Bernard baby blanket yarn and sport and the color is tiny tulips and for crochet hook it's a four millimeter crochet hook so to start just do a practice swatch it can be any multiples of four plus two and then you do a single crochet in the second chain from the hook and single crochet in each uh, chain so then here I have 20 which is multiple of 4 plus 1 so 21 single crochet stitches in this foundation and to continue with the pattern I'm going to chain 3 turn and do 2 more double crochets in the very same stitch and so this will be the first cluster of three double crochets now we skip three one two three and do a single crochet in the fourth stitch now chain two and three more double crochets in the same stitch again I'll skip three single crochet in the fourth stitch chain two and three double crochets in the same stitch you'll start uh, seeing the pattern forming after a couple of rows but for now this first row looks like this so again skip three single crochet in the fourth stitch chain two and three double crochets you can see it's a very easy repeat so you don't need you would not need instructions after a few rows as you'll get the pattern skip three stitches single crochet chain two the last three double crochets of that row and our last stitch will be a single crochet and the very last stitch of the row and it will be for every row and after that you just chain three and turn one two three and we're ready to start a new row for this row it's the same uh, two more double crochets in the very first stitch and chain three represents the first double crochet so it's a total of three double crochet cluster and now we do the front post single crochet under the third single crochet of the row and that's what gives this blanket texture and interest 
and now we chain two and we do three double crochets in that single crochet from the previous row one two and three and now we need to anchor that cluster again the front post single crochet onto the last double crochet of the previous row and you can see now our panels are forming and those are tiny little bridges that inspired that name for this stitch check old Monet chain two three double crochets in that single crochet of the previous row and single crochet under the front post Again, we'll chain two, do three double crochets right here, make sure all your posts are about the same size, so it's nice and uniform, and then single crochet under the front post here chain two the last three double crochet cluster And the last stitch of this row is just a simple single crochet in that space. And we've reached the start a new row. And you can see now the panels are forming. And you probably are pretty familiar with the repeat. So you won't need instructions for all other rows. So we chain three, we turn now. Doing two double crochet in the very first stitch of this row, and that completes this first cluster. And under the front post, single crochet. Chain two. And three double crochets in that, in that single crochet from the previous row. And single crochet. chain two, three double crochets right here so to troubleshoot um, that stitch probably your main mistake will be forgetting that um, chain two so just remember after every single crochet you do a chain two so front post single crochet and chain two another cluster of three doubles 
two. And three. And single crochet. Chain two. Three double crochets. And our last stitch, as always, will be just a simple single crochet in that last chain space of the row. Very easy. And again, chain three and turn. And we'll just do one more row. So you're completely familiar with the stitch. I can see those panels forming and the pattern taking its shape. So three double crochets in the first stitch of the row and anchor it under the front post of the double crochet. Chain two, three double crochets And single crochet under the front post right here. Chain two again. Three double crochets. And make sure you make those um, three double crochets in the single crochet of the previous row. It's easy to find. And single crochet under the front post. Chain two again. Another cluster of double crochet. One, two, and three, the last one. And again, front post, single crochet. Last chain two, last cluster of this row. Third, double crochet. And the last stitch, we're just anchoring this cluster with a single crochet. And this is it. That's our easy baby blanket crochet stitch. And you can see the pattern now forming in those little clusters here. And then you'll have this beautiful baby blanket. Um, it works well in this color, but I think it will also look nice in just a solid color, such as pink, uh, timeless white, or blue. Thank you so much. Today um, I will be showing you an easy crochet stitch, and we'll be working on this beautiful blanket. You can see it creates interesting texture of those little panels are connected with little bridges that are just chain twos and it's made with um, easy to find they're not blanket yarn in um, tiny tulips so um, stitch consists of um, easy clusters of double crochets that you make into um, the same stitch so it's three double crochets 
then all in the same stitch which is the top of the um, previous row chain 2 and then when you're done you just anchor it to this first double crochet under the front post so single crochet and chain 2 and that's an easy repeat for this for the whole row to the end of the row and you repeat the same row over and over again so again three double crochets all in the same stitch second double crochet and third double crochet and I'll show you how you end and start the row and then it will be all clear to you and now we just anchor that cluster to this first double crochet with front post single crochet and again chain two three double crochet stitches right here on the top of the chain two from the previous row and third double crochet and now single crochet and there are no chains between the cluster and the single crochet and now chain two three double crochets right here and after this cluster single crochet under the front loop and we have just two clusters left to the end of this row so we continue with chain two three double crochets and the last third double crochet here and single crochet to anchor that cluster and last cluster so three double crochets in this stitch right here which is the top of the previous row chain two And the last stitch here will be single crochet in that chain, last chain space. So you're done with this row. Now chain three. Turn your work. We're going to make three double crochets in this very first stitch. I'm sorry, two more double crochets because chain three of the turning chain represents the first double crochet. So two more. So turning chain and two more double crochets. And now single crochet under that first double crochet post and you continue the same way chain two and three 
double crochets right in that stitch right after the first chain after the chain chain two of the previous row so three double crochets The last third one and now front post single crochet right here and you see it's a very easy repeat and it's easy to start and finish the row so no tricks here and you'll have those beautiful panels um, connected with those little bridges and it creates a wonderful textured blanket that is cozy and interesting at the same time. So chain two, three double crochet stitches, and the last single crochet to anchor this cluster and that's it it's a very easy stitch